Well, hello and welcome. This is Nate. Just want to say thank you for clicking on the video. All right. So now that uh, some of the trucks have gone by, just wanted to let you know that there are some big things on the horizon, including this uh, 1,680 square foot, three bedroom, two bath home, located here at Palm Harbor Homes in Abilene, Texas. Yes, Horizon is the name of this home. <laughs> And uh, anyway, I just want to say thank you to Palm Harbor Homes for letting me come film. Now this can be had as a fourth bedroom instead of having the den. Yes, this one comes with a den. Of course, you got your back door. I believe that is where your dining room is at. So I don't know if there's an option for a sliding glass door in that one or not. As we're coming up, you've got a little bit of a recess here, so when you're coming in, you can just kind of step out of the rain. So as we come in, there is your front door. You can see that recess right there. So now this is a pretty darn good sized living room. Nice and wide. You've got a nice wall. In fact, you can see they've even got the plugs. You've got a set of four plugs and probably a chase right behind there. So that would be where you're going to want to put your TV and that kind of stuff. Now this one, as you can see, there's still some sheetrock and stuff. This one, they just finished it setting up. So it hasn't even gotten in and been thoroughly cleaned yet. So if you see some residues or things like that, Keep all that in mind. In fact, the guy just come in and grabbed his uh, box of putty just while I was going through. And this is going to be your dining room. Now, so of course they don't have any of this staged or anything like that. And I really like these beams they've got on the ceiling. And this one has all your vents in the ceiling. Now they went with the dark Formica countertops here. Of course you can always change the colors, get different colors, different countertops entirely. I really like these adjustable shelves they got in here. And these ones here are pretty easy to adjust. Going down is a little bit more difficult. Going up is easy. You just literally push them up. Of course, you got the great big window above your sink here. Stack of four drawers. Now we've got two cabinets in the corner here. One that goes way back there. So far, I can't even quite get it all on camera. And then it wraps all the way around to this one, but it's two doors.
And this one, does it do the same thing? It does. So as you can see, the shelf goes way back there. This one, the shelf goes way back there. And these are the black Whirlpool appliances with a stainless steel hood. They've even got the time on it. Almost correct. It's about uh, 15 minutes slow. I guess that tells you what time it is while I'm filming, huh? Also in your island here, you've got a plug-in at this end. Some cabinet space down below. And then we've got a pantry. And at first I thought it was a barn door. And then I saw the handle and pulled on it. Because you can see it's a standard type door and they put the barn door look on it. It's kind of different. Now our utility room does have the sliding barn door on it. And we've got room for a freezer right there. It even has the plug in. Now this one's blended in pretty well, but that is where your water heater goes. And then of course your washer and dryer hookups. Nice shelf up above you there. So decent size utility room in here. I like that there's a spot for a freezer right there. And coming down to the bedrooms, that is your central heating and air. Of course, the air conditioner will be outside. That's the furnace for the, the heating. Or knick-knack shelf or whatever you want to use it for. Every time I see those, I think in knick-knack shelves. Of course, I know you wouldn't put knick-knacks in your bathroom. It's pretty good sized drawers for for your bathroom here. Nice counter. Good size counter actually. We're gonna say hello to Raiden. And they give you a one piece shower tub combo with the transom window up above you. Built in towel hook there. And across from your bathroom is going to be bedroom number one. I can actually talk in this one without fighting the smoke alarms. Last one I was in, there was five of them. And I swear it was about every 10 seconds, one of them wanted to beep. Really made it hard to film it. <laughs> oh yeah, we gotta get the closet. That's a good sized closet. Not very deep, but it is a nice length of closet there. And then at the end of your hallway here was this uh, knick-knack shelf. Now this one, I would definitely put some knick-knacks and or some stuff to put on display type deal. You know, kind of give an indication that we are headed into the media room or den. Clearly this one is set up to be a media room. You've got your plug-ins down there. You got a chase hole right there to run your cables up. really like these light fixtures right here. It completely reminds me of being in a theater. 
Then you got your beams, nice ceiling fan. All right, we got to get the other bedroom. Now hopefully the camera doesn't seem like it's any more shaky than it was normally. So just before I took this trip, about two weeks before I took this trip, in fact, I just happened to be right after we came back from uh, Idaho. Remember I was talking about all that snow and the ice and how cold it got, well, Raiden and I were out playing in the snow, sledding, and I decided to slip, not intentionally, of course, but decided to slip, and I tore my calf muscle. So my foot's still swollen and still a little sore, but uh, on with the show, right? That's a nice big bedroom. I'm assuming that that is where you're going to put your bed based on the window location. Now I don't have any lights on in here and you can see just how bright it is in here. In our bathroom, once again, we've got a stack of drawers, two big cabinets below your sinks, some more shelving there. I really like these light fixtures up above. Speaking of Raiden a little bit ago, we better wave to him. You got the mirror to kind of check yourself, see how clothes fit. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. And then you got a sit or a bench right there to sit on. Your closet is in your bathroom. Nice size walk in closet. Single shelf all the way around. I think this is about the only place that I've noticed it's not sheetrock is inside the closets. Other than that, this has been uh, sheetrock everywhere. Except for the bathroom. Now that I mention it, I guess this bathroom isn't sheetrock. Just the way they did the this area right here, you couldn't tell. Nice shower head. And you got the wand. And then you get this great big bench in here. And it is a repairable fiberglass. So if something were to happen, you can easily repair it. Or at least somebody can. And then you've got your, of course, your water closet over here. And I didn't even look to see. Nope. Thought maybe there might be some shelves back there. But we do have a linen closet right here. Or linen cabinets, I should say. And with that, I don't need any lint filled comments down below, but you can leave all the comments you want. Let me know what do you think of the home? What do you like? What changes would you like to see in the home? While you're there, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications that way you get notified when I upload videos. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. So what did you think? Overall, not a bad home, you know, mostly all sheetrock. Really good price on this home. We'll get into the details here in just a minute. So this one, once again, was in uh, time of filming in January of 2023. This was at Palm Harbor Homes in uh, Abilene, Texas. Yes, I know I said my leg, I tore my calf muscles. So let you all know I'm doing good. I'm healed. I can walk around normal. I can run up and down stairs. I can play, do all that kind of stuff. So 
it was only had me hobbled up, so to say, for a couple of weeks. Then I was back to normal. Heck, I was back to bowling on lead a week and a half after it happened. But anyway, we'll get into some price information here. So uh, this price that I have for you is uh, the current sale price, because right now when I'm looking at the web page, it is on sale. Now I don't know how long the sale is going to be. So uh, I'll give you the sale price and I'll give you the regular price up there. But keep in mind there could be extra city fees, extra county fees, extra delivery fees. Just kind of all depends on where you have this home set up and delivered. And so, you know, we can't always account for everything. But with that, the sale price for this home has it coming in, I believe it was, yeah, $163,000 currently. And the regular price on this home is $176,000. So they, right now they've got it on sale for $13,000 less. So now might be the time to buy, especially if you're in the Texas area. Get this home set up and delivered and have yourself a really nice home. So with that, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.